hello guys welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com in this tutorial I'll talk about transitions in Jira workflow so this is in continuation with the previous tutorial uh, wherein we talked about the key components of a workflow and now I'll talk more about the transitions in the Jira workflow so as you can see on my screen that I have created a default or just a basic Mumba app new workflow which is inactive and I have added a couple of statuses so open work in progress and work completed are the statuses that I have added now I'll so at the moment since open is the default work, uh, default status uh, and it it will be having a default uh, transition as well so there is a transition create already there and you cannot delete it because that's a read only or a default status along with the transition now to transition to add a transition you can click on add transition button here and there are options to add a new transition or reuse a transition so for example if you click on reuse a transition you can reuse the existing transition if you already have so from status open I'll say to status work in progress uh, and it will show me that there are no transitions going to this status so at the moment if you see um, there are no transitions going to this status so that's why it's giving me an error that I have to add a new transition I can't reuse because um, there is no transition to that state so what I'll do is I'll click on new transition and I'll say from open to work in progress and I'll say work in progress if you want you can specify the description which is a good practice to um, mention the details of a transition what exactly um, uh, the transition is all about and below that you have the screen so screen I'll talk in detail um, later uh, when I'll be talking more about the screens and the designing um, so but but to uh, elaborate a bit of um, or talk about the screen briefly screen is nothing but uh, the screen that will be popped up when a, uh, when an issue is transitioned from one status to another so for example if a developer is picking up uh, an issue say for example a defect from open to in progress then there will be a screen if you choose a screen uh, if you design a screen for uh, a state from open to um, in progress and you choose that particular screen from the drop down so for example at the moment if you choose default screen or there is a res resolve issue screen so these are the screens that have been already defined and if I select say workflow screen then it will pop up a, a screen will pop up when the issue is moved from open to in progress which will ask certain details from the developer to fill so it's it's customizable you can customize that particular screen uh, to ask the developer to fill in certain details before he moves that um, issue from open to in progress so this is optional you can uh, leave it to none or you can design your own screen uh, depending on the project requirements uh, which which will um, ask the person who is moving from who is moving uh, issue from one state to another to fill certain details uh, before it gets moved to uh, the next status so at the moment I'll say none and click on add All right so now you can see that work in progress transition has been added so this is one way transition so now if you move your issue from open to work in progress um, then you can't move it back so because there is just one way transition there is no um, transition back from work in progress to open if you want to move the issue from uh, work in progress back to open you have to add the transition again from work in progress to open and say back to open right so now this is a two-way transition so a issue can be moved from open to work in progress as well as from work in progress to back to open and this this won't allow all the statuses 
to move from um, so usually uh, the first in the previous tutorial what I did is I chose that allow all statuses to transition to this one what what this means is that it doesn't matter whether an issue is in open work in progress it doesn't matter which status an issue is it can be transitioned to work completed directly so it doesn't need to follow uh, the process of open to progress to complete it it can directly go from open to work completed or um, it can go from work completed to open if I say allow all transitions uh, uh, all statuses to transition to this one similarly if I choose all for this one so with this state it doesn't matter where your issue is it can be transitioned to each and every statuses in your workflow but if I remove this allow all statuses from the from the statuses then only a issue can be moved move from open to work in progress and then from work in progress to back to open there is no transition from work in progress to work completed so you need to add a transition for work in progress to work completed if you want to move the issue from work in progress to work completed so I'll add one more transition here from work in progress to work completed I'll say work completed and screen let's choose resolve issue screen so now you can move an issue from work in progress to work completed but you can't move an issue which has been work completed back to work in progress or back to open until you add another transition which allows you to move the issue uh, or transition an issue for to work in progress or to open so that is pretty much all about the transition um, and what I'll do is in next tutorial I'll try to apply this workflow to some of the project and show you how you can configure the screen so for example in this one if you edit uh, the screen uh, chosen is resolve issue screen so I'll show you when you apply this uh, workflow to particular project and you transition an issue from work in progress to work completed how that issue will uh, issue screen will pop up and then how you can customize that screen or add a new screen and attach that screen for the transition statuses so that's pretty much all in this tutorial thank you for watching please do like and subscribe thank you